world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Well, what's, before this story, what would have been your assessment of Roy Chubby Brown? I mean, I've not really seen a lot of him, as you said, because he's not really on telly a lot. I mean, he does his theatres, he's got his audience, he's been going since the 70s, but a lot of quick one-liners, a bit of smart... That's about it, really. It's just a, just an, a you know, 77-year-old man telling <laughs> jokes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not quite... Go on. I mean, the whole the whole banning, I just, I just find it astounding, really. I really, really do. The fact that the council have come out and said it's for the benefit of the community. I mean, I just think that theatre's now not making money... The bars aren't going to be making money around the area. True. People in restaurants aren't going to be spending money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just, come out of a pande- We've just come out of a pandemic <laughs> as well. All these things have been closed. Yeah. Surely this is detrimental to the community to perform, to ban a live performance. You, I, you I, would think so, wouldn't you? Uh, and, of course, at the, at the heart of... Uh, and I know some of his material probably... Again, like yourself, I, I, I saw Chubby Brown once, by the way. I went yeah. genuinely with a mate um, who said, you know, we should go and see this bloke. It's a, but you know, the same reason I went to see a bullfight in Spain once, by the way, because I thought, well, you know, until you've seen it, you can't start. Yeah. Criticism. So go and see, experience it, as horrendous it might be. So, uh, with that same philosophy in mind, uh, I, I thought, no, I'm going to go and see Chubby Brown. And this was the Lee's Pavilion in Folkestone uh, a few years ago. And he was incredibly entertaining. He was very rude. That's partly why he was entertaining. Um, yeah. Everything about, I mentioned his accent there. The accent lends itself. You can wheel out a four lettered word in a very, very effective way in a Geordie <laughs> accent, I, I discovered that night. And he was hilarious. Um, and I don't think he can be criticised as a comedian, you know, technically as a comedian. No. Clearly, all of that is is going on. Um, Mother-in-law stuff, a lot of wife stuff. Um, I don't remember yeah. whether he got into race. I genuinely don't remember whether that's part of his act. Uh, it might be. Um, I, I think there's some trans stuff in there, which probably upsets a lot of people today. But broadly speaking, he's, he's an old-school comic. That would be fair, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be It would be fair. I mean, I went through a load of clips of him today, and I, like you said, a lot of mother-in-law stuff, the wife stuff. I couldn't really find anything that would be considered racist or homophobic. I think they're kind of like sort of sexy lines that people like to throw at people just to have them sort of banned. True. Um, and it, it's 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 just it's just remarkable. I'm, I'm really I really don't understand. I, I just I don't understand how a council can ban a comedian <laughs> from telling jokes. Like comedy is, is held to such a bizarre standard. Like no other art form. I I almost think it's a part of like a, an attack on class warfare. Like if there was a play being held at that theatre and someone yeah. said they didn't approve of the themes of that play, even though they hadn't seen it, yeah. there's no way the council would ban a play. Great point. There's absolutely no chance whatsoever. But we yeah. have it with comedy all the time. Like we're even going backwards in our mentality. Like I remember seeing this thing on TV with Eric Idle talking about the life of Brian and how councils banned that film from being shown. So people yeah. had to go to different councils to see it at the cinema. I remember hearing that and thinking, really? Yeah. And that, that, that's happening again now. And, and also, you, you kind of want to be a fly on the wall, Luke, at some of these meetings and think, you know, a, yeah. a, 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 an, a, an adult human sat there and decreed yeah. almost, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down territory of, of what they will allow. I mean, that's quite a sinister scenario in itself. It's it's insane, the idea that they have the right to decide how other adults can go out and entertain themselves, how they can spend their money, how they can find enjoyment. It's like we... The, no, the people in that council haven't seen this show either. Yeah. But one person has complained and gone, like, we have decided that no-one has the right to what, go and spend their money and entertain themselves this way. Who do they think they are? Like, that, is, that is outrageous. <laughs> that is outrageous to me. It's you good. wouldn't get that in any other... In any other art form. No, no you wouldn't. You... And if you look at music, I mean, if you want to get into what might be offensive lyrically in the world of mm-hmm. music, I mean, you could you could be there for a lifetime going through past and current song lyrics that might be offensive. Yeah. But no one's suggesting they should all be banned. No, absolutely not. But you've got you, you know you've got a man there who's seventy seven wearing moccasin slippers in a patchwork <laughs> suit and tie. With a flying helmet and goggles on his head, yep. and the council have gone. People can't see this. They, they can't handle that. Yes, they, yeah, they, yeah. They, they might take him seriously. They might not understand it's a joke. Like yep. it's a, it's a literal clown on stage. Correct. That's absolutely spot on. Spot on. Luke, thank you, Luke Stephen, comedian, with a, 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 an incredibly, uh, absolutely bang on assessment. It- Good talk. Hot talk. 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 talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of. Common sense. Talk radio.